Okay, here's a question I saw the other day on the Heart Transplant Families U.S. Support Group. It is this. My daughter had an appointment with a hematologist today because of a low white blood cell count. The hematologist decided to give her a couple of more months for those numbers to get up on their own before going forward with biopsy. Is that good advice? Basically, I would say yes. That is excellent advice. I see too many times, especially early on, when teams get a little bit over diligent of trying to keep an eye on things, which they should. I'm thankful for that. But sometimes they get a little bit over diligent or zealous to changing things up too early and it is very 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 typical and even right for those white blood cell counts to be down or a little bit low in the beginning because that is your immunosuppressant drugs doing exactly what they are designed to do they're supposed to be bringing down your immune system which involves some of those white blood cells bringing that system down to prevent your body from going into rejection and rejecting that brand new organ or they might call it the graft okay and that's exactly what's supposed to be happening but if a team makes too many adjustments early on farther out it gets a little bit more difficult to get things balanced you see what's in the first three to six months when they're really really supposed to be being diligent to get those medications stable to get levels that are very tolerable for you as well as kind of to develop baselines and if they make too many adjustments ups and downs with those medications early on because they see an issue with your white blood cell count or maybe your sodium or your potassium or or whatever if they make too many changes early on you kind of get all wacky and you just can't really get a grasp on where things are supposed to be so i like the fact that her team is basically saying we're not going to mess with it now we're going to wait see what her body does because eventually her body will learn to adapt and adjust these new medications and that white blood cell count will typically not always but typically come back up some on its own and get to a more tolerable and a more uh, safe level if you will so I'm thankful they're doing that now if she gets out maybe past that six month mark all that I was talking about was three to six months if she gets out past that six months to a year mark or anyone that's even farther than that if you're still having issues with that white blood cell count then certainly I would advise them to continue to do that testing and it may be by then that it would be safe to bring down some of those immunosuppressant drugs which they're probably tapering anyway but to bring some of those down just to raise those white blood cell counts because after a year it gets a little bit more stable a little bit safer to go ahead and do that so i hope this is helpful i hope this helps you out in any way and by the way i love questions like this whether i stumble across them on facebook or you personally ask them my number's on the screen you can obviously comment in the description below ask your questions make your comments and i'll be happy to address them but until next time stay stronger my friends